Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mixed Ground Made Simple, Maximize Advance with Hybrid TBM. I'm Desiree Willis. I'll be your moderator for the Q&A portion of the webinar. This webinar is presented by Doug Harding and Brad Grothen. I'd now like to introduce our first speaker, Doug Harding, who's Robin's Vice President, and he will be providing an introduction and overview of these topics. Doug? Thanks, Desiree. I uh, just want to thank everybody for attending this webinar. Uh, today's topics we're going to discuss is really uh, hybrid machines and how they're used for both EPB and rock, uh, rock excavation. Um, there's two types really of hybrid machines that we can discuss. One is one that goes from uh, a slurry type to an EPB type, and the second is an uh, EPB type to a rock type. The one we're going to discuss today uh, effectively uh, is geology where we're going from EPB type to rock type. Um, we'll discuss a little bit about the different types of machines, uh, the benefits of these hybrid machines as compared to uh, uh, standard use machines either being just a standard EPB machine or a standard slurry machine and one that can change from either mode. We're going to discuss today in this presentation uh, the features of these machines and why these features are applied to the machines to effectively uh, excavate the geology we, we know we have along our alignment. And those design features um, primarily are the cutter head. We, we know the cutter head is where, where really the rubber meets the road and where, where you have to address the features of the cutter head to mix for the mixed phase geology. The drive systems in which uh, a drive system, cutter head drive system is different for a rock machine versus a EBB machine. Um, muck removal is always very important, how we get the muck out of the, out of the chamber. Uh, cutter cutting tools, uh, we'll discuss a little bit in some detail on different types of cutter tools for the different geology and monitoring these cutter tools. And then we'll have some conclusions and uh, open the floor for some questions. Uh, the first, uh, I'm going to discuss a little bit in generalities. Uh, I'm sure the audience understands the difference between rock machines and EPB machines, but what we're discussing here is a machine that goes from EPB mode to rock mode. So in EPB mode, uh, our, our geology is uh, permeable sand, gravels, clays, and soils. Uh, typically, the tunnel is under the water table. Uh, we're talking about mixed face in which we have rock and soil. And one of the key, key uh, issues we have to maintain face pressure. We have to maintain the face pressure because we don't want any kind of settlement issues above the ground or we don't want to heave the ground. Because typically we're talking uh, tunnels that aren't so deep, metro tunnels uh, right in the middle of a city. We have structures we have to be concerned with. So it's very important we have to maintain the face pressure. Uh, we want to balance the flow of the excavated material with the advance rate. That again helps us in regards to settlement issues. And we have a segmented lining. So we're putting a, seg a precast segment lining behind the mining machine. A basic uh, rock machine is one that is self-supporting. We have rock geology. Uh, we've made this line of demarcation where a, a, a regular hard rock cutting disc versus a soft ground tool is about 20 MPA. We're saying that a uh, disc cutter is very ineffective under 20 MPA and typically will cause damage to that cutter because effectively the cutter won't turn. When we have uh, rock over 20 MPA, our knife edge type soft ground tools are ineffective because they just can't excavate the, the harder geology. Uh, these machines, we're talking for the hybrids uh, on the rock side, we have faulted or fractured ground. Uh, we, have, we have no flowing material, no water pressure, so we can excavate in open mode. And we're going to talk about open mode and closed mode and semi-open mode, but in this typical case, there's no face pressure. That's open mode. We can basically excavate from the mucking chamber to our muck disposal at atmosphere. And again, we have a segmented line tunnel. Factors when we discuss uh, factors of what type of machine to use, uh, whether it be a, a rock mixed face machine or a hybrid machine or a pure EPB machine, the biggest consideration that we have to discuss is the geology. Geology is really going to set the type of machine we're going to use. It's not only going to set the type of machine, it's going to set the, the cutter head configuration and the cutter head design. So what we consider when we talk about the geology is the type and the hardness, 
whether it's mixed face, whether it's flowing, whether it's sand gravels or, or rock or mixed face. Uh, we're working on projects now with mixed face, which is even a bigger challenge when you have hard rock in the bottom and soft material up on top. Uh, water table, we have to pressurize the face because incoming water, we obviously want to keep the water in the ground. We don't want to bring it in. And when there's big concerns of settlement, settlement being issues of uh, ground settlement. We're in a city. We talked about that. So that, that basic geology is going to set the type of machine we have to use. The excavation speed, um, depending on the geology and the mixed base conditions, that's going to dictate how fast we can actually excavate. And so with a hybrid machine, uh, we can basically set up, uh, when we know the geology is rock, we're going to set up the machine for rock mode. When we know the geology is soft and, and we're in the pergable material, we're going to set up the machine for, for uh, soft ground mode or EPV mode. And so what this presentation is going to discuss is how we make those changes and how we, we modify the machine for the various uh, geological differences in the tunnel alignment. And a, a big factor is when we get into mixed face, uh, where we have EPB machines in mixed face, is the excavation cost. Cutter costs are very high. Uh, cutter wear can be very high. And we're talking you know, uh, ground conditioning and additives, what we can introduce into the cutter head and the cutter head mixing chamber to reduce both the wear factors and for uh, mixing, of the g mixing of the ground in the mixing chamber so we can excavate that particular material. Poll question. Uh, first question we have here is, have you ever been involved in specification or use of TDMs in mixed ground? Uh, this is basically discussing, you know, uh, what you know as far as the geology and how you specify a, a particular machine. Okay, and while everyone is voting, I have the first question for you, Doug. How much experience do you have in the TBM industry? Uh, specifically me, I started in this industry in the early 80s, uh, right out of school. Um, so since then, I, I started my career actually at the uh, Jarva company before it became Atlas, Car Atlas Copco Jarva. From that, uh, I worked there for about five or six years, and I took a job uh, working with the Bortec company, who was basically, these are hard rock uh, manufacturing uh, providers. As, at the tail end of Bortec, when we got into uh, the Robbins company, the new Robbins company, let's say, I started there. We started into uh, the EPBs, and, and in the last, oh, I should say 10 years, 10, 12 years, Robbins has been very active in the EPB market. Uh, we've also provided some slurry machines, so my experience level is over the past 25 years, or plus 25 years, has been primarily rock, but quite a bit now in, in the soft ground. continue on the presentation here and we'll talk a little bit about the benefits of the hybrid machines and um, what benefits these machines do in any type of given geology. These hybrid machines and changeover from open mode or closed mode to semi-open mode, the whole intent is really not to provide a machine. If I know I have faulted or fractured grounds for five or ten meters, we don't necessarily want to change modes. What we want to do is, is, is have a machine that can excavate short sections of mixed face, uh, maybe at a, a reduced rate, but not to completely change over from one mode to the next. The idea here is with a hybrid machine is we know we have long sections of either soft ground or rock, and we want to change the configuration of the machine to excavate those long sections. When we're excavating those long sections, there's, there's big advantages in the type of machine you have uh, versus the geology. In other words, if I have a rock machine trying to cut soft ground, I have many, many difficulties. If I have a EPB machine trying to excavate rock, I have similar difficulties. So what we're trying to do with, the, with this uh, hybrid type machine is set the machine up, uh, optimize the machine in soft ground for EPB, and then re-optimize the machine when we hit the uh, rock sections so we can use the machine more as a classical type rock machine. Uh, 
Um, you also have sections of a tunnel along an alignment, especially longer tunnels. And we see we see a little bit of this in the metros, but the metro tunnels are typically fairly short, anywhere from 800 meters up to maybe two and a half kilometers. Where and we have stations in between where we could modify the machine if if if, if it so says we have to. But there's also other longer tunnels, five, six, eight, ten, twelve kilometers, in which the varying conditions may change. So what we want to do is is have the ability to change that machine and. Uh, there's also large sections where we don't have to run in closed mode or pressurized face mode. Big advantages when we don't have to operate in pressurized face mode, primarily advantages of not having to have interventions, not having uh, have the ability to change the cutters easy, easier. And we've known uh, from experience past that uh, the cutter wear, cutter head wear, uh, cutter cost of excavation in pressurized mode is much higher than if you can run in open mode. So we're trying to take advantage of open mode as much as possible we can with a hybrid type machine. The benefits um, of, of a hybrid is, is we're able to excavate varying ground uh, conditions, ones that are suitable for both rock mode and EPB mode, and we'll, and we'll discuss that a little bit in detail, uh, Brad will, when he talks about the design of the machines for the various ground. Uh, we're uh, we're uh, able to operate the machine in closed mode. Closed mode for this presentation uh, means the pressurized face. We have a pressurized face. We have to keep it closed. Uh, Semi-closed mode means we can either run in a reduced pressurized face mode, either with a screw conveyor or with a conveyor belt, or we can. Uh, the, these semi-closed modes are the are the points we're talking about when we have five or eight or seven meters of, of different geology conditions, we can run in semi or open mode with either the conveyor system or the or the screw conveyor. And that'll be in some detail when Brad talks about the differences of the two types. Or basically open mode. We can run open mode meaning the pressure in the face is equal to the pressure atmosphere, so we, we have no pressurized face. And we can either do that with an EPB screw conveyor or with a belt conveyor. We prefer a belt conveyor, and we'll go over the reasons why later in this presentation. Um, we have to have the ability, or we want the ability, to run with the EPB screw conveyor, or as the primary muck removal out of the chamber, or run with the belt conveyor. Typical rock machine has a belt conveyor. Typical EPB machine has a screw conveyor, and we want to be able to easily convert one to the other. And we want a very flexible design. Um, Again, on the cutter head, there is certain benefits to a cutter head designed for EPB mode, being we need big opening ratios, we need uh, bi-directional ability, we need ability to change different cutter pits. Uh, as a rock machine, you want more of a closed mode or a smaller opening ratio, and you want to be able to pick the muck up and scoop it up and dump it into a conveyor. So that's the most efficient way in rock mode. So we're going to explain a little bit in this presentation the Robbins the theories behind cutting rock and the theories behind cutting uh, mixed face and how we handle that in the mixing chamber. The special features of the hybrid machine is we have a cutter head that can has a large opening ratio for the EPB mode and that opening ratio can be closed down some. When we, when we go to rock mode. We have the ability to uh, pick up the muck using single direction type cutter head. Uh, a, typical, a typical EPB machine uses a bi-directional head, meaning we, we turn the cutter head one way and then we turn the cutter head the other way to, uh, for roll correction of the shields. Uh, in, in this hybrid type machine, we have a system built within the machine for roll correction in which we don't necessarily have to use a bi-directional type cutter head. We can use a single direction cutter head. Uh, special features of the cutter head power. In typical EPB mode, you want to run the machine, the cutter head very slow and with a very high torque. The reason being that the faster you turn a cutter head in EPB mode, the more chance you have for over excavation and possible settlement issues. Um, we feel that in EPB mode, there's bigger advantages to turn the cutter head slow. You have less cutter head wear. You have a better mixing of the 
uh, material and the mix